Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. For this one, I was lucky to be able to test the development version of Inkscape and the Shape Builder function inside. I created a similar video before for Affinity Designer showing that you can create these things with the Compound tool. Here I'm doing the approach via the Shape Builder. So I have all my circles that should make up the dolphin. I select all of them and then go to the function that allows me to join them. And there seems to be still a bug in there because circles act up at times. The big circles don't seem to connect properly. The line there isn't visible. So I take the two circles, combine them with a pass subtract and try again, selecting all. Choosing the tool takes a moment and then I can select. You can select plus or minus, so an add or a subtract, and then create the shapes you want. So I have the body pretty much set and I add the fin to it. This time it detects the right lines. The tiny bit at the nose and then the tail fin and we should have a dolphin. So it is working as it should. A little buggy still and I'm sure that will be ironed out because this is the development version. So I have my dolphin which now is a nice vector shape that I can change from an outline to a fill give it a gradient, use it as a clipping mask to add some highlights to it. So yes, it is working. I will play around with it some more. I'm still not convinced that it is the holy grail that some people claim it to be because you need to create a pretty good grid and a very good idea of what you want to create before you start connecting because otherwise the shapes are lost and you have to go back a few steps or start over. Yes, it will need some getting used to and I'm sure it's great for some geometric shapes, some logo designs, but anything overly complex and I think I'm pushing the limit with this dolphin shape already is more work than it's worth. I'm sure others will disagree, but that's my two cents. I'm looking forward to this being implemented really soon into the official Inkscape version and will definitely continue to play with it and hopefully come up with some cool effects that I can use this tool for. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this quick preview and I will see you again soon.